Hello and welcome to my channel, Amina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about Aptos. I feel this video is already late, so I wanted to put it out there. There will be following video soon. So I want to remind you, Aptos has a Galaxy campaign going on. And if you go there, you will see the Quest 1 and Quest 2, 3 have ended, but the Quest 4 is still going on for two more days. And if you look at it, it seems like you only have to follow these two Twitter accounts, but there is a little bit more. When you click on this arrow, you will go to their Quest 4, and there is a little write-up right under the Quest in the beginning. And you will see the campaign overview, as well as the eligible task. So these are the two um, protocols that they are targeting for Quest 4, Vibrant X and Selena. And you have to follow them on the Twitter and also their project page is also mentioned. Now, first thing, Aptos is a layer 1 blockchain. It is different from Ethereum and it is not a level 2 one, so it, you cannot use a MetaMask for it. The MetaMask works for EVM compatible blockchains. So since this is a different technology, you have to use a different wallet. There are options. Since the, you cannot use the MetaMask, you will need a new wallet. You can either use Petra, Pontum, or Martian wallet. These all are good wallets. I am personally using Petra wallet. And the reason is that, that I had issue connecting my Pontum wallet with my Galaxy account. I could link Petra wallet with no issue. Otherwise, I don't think there is a much difference. If you have an eye for UI, you might appreciate the point of wallet a little bit more because yes, it looks very nice. Both wallets are uh, available as a Chrome extension and as well as available on iOS and Android devices. Uh, you can see same thing for Petra. I haven't used Martian and I see that not a lot of people are using it, but I don't have any other comments regarding Martian. Once you have the wallet, it is very simple. You just have to create a new wallet, save the secret phrases, have a password set up, and you will be good to go. Since Quest 4 is going to end in two days, I will suggest to start doing it. There's not a lot of tasks you have to do. And then I also want to point out one thing. We are early on Aptos. Not a lot of people are using Aptos as such. Now, if you look at here, Aptos 130K followers. Compared to Bearchain, which is on the testnet, they just started like a few months ago. They have 7.8 million participants. And if you look at it, it, I think it has, yeah, 650K followers compared to 130K. And Aptos have put aside 51% of their total supply for the future airdrops and community. They have only done one airdrop, and this is going to be the second one. So there are still a lot more to come. Even if you are late here, I will suggest start looking at it now. And I also want to point out this thing. Even though Quest 1, 2, and 3 have ended, and if you try to click on this, you it will not open the pop-up window where you can just go and do the task. But if you click on this arrow, it will open up the quest, and right under the quest, you will have the write-up what this quest is about. So the quest number one was very simple. You just have to get Aptos name, and this is a website where you can go and get it. If you are choosing any Aptos name longer than five characters, it is one app. And on Aptos, you don't have to pay too much gas fees. So this is the good part. Now talking about the gas fees, as soon as you set up the wallet, you have to have fun in your wallet. There are two ways. And this Galaxy Campaign 2 actually helps you take through that. There is a bridge because this is going to be from EVM chain to Aptos. So you have to use a bridge, which is going to interact with layer zero. So if you're farming layer zero, this is even good. You can go there and touch that layer zero airdrop as well and bridge it to Aptos. But if you don't want to use the bridge, there is another option. You can go to any of the exchanges like Binance, Bybit, or whatever you use. And if they have Aptos, you can withdraw Aptos directly to their wallet. Anyhow, please do have a look at these tasks, even though they have ended, it will make sense to do this task. And the reason is that not a lot of people are paying attention to So I want to show you this one thing quickly. This is the total TVL on all the chain. The first one is very obvious, Ethereum. The second one, I think it will be surprised a lot of you, is Tron, followed by Binance Smart Chain, and then Solana. We have Arbitrum, Avalanche, but you see, we don't even see Aptos here. Base is picking up some volume, but still look at the difference between Ethereum base or even the second 
um, biggest TVL chain. If you scroll down here, you will see Aptos at rank 16. They have almost half a billion dollar worth of TVL. They are right under Kronos. And I don't know who is using Kronos right now. Even the newer chain like Mandos, they are higher up in the rank. I think there are two reasons why you should pay attention to Aptos. Number one is because there are a lot of protocols on Aptos that are tokenless. And if you're interacting with those protocols, you are farming for two airdrops, one from Aptos directly and one from those protocols when they have their own token. The other reason is that as I assured you that they have very less competition compared to all the other name chain because a lot of people are just going about the hype they are forgetting about the chain which has a lot of money. Aptos raised $350 million. Even the Binance has contributed to it. So they have a lot of money and 51% of it that is going to go to the users. So there will be a lot less competition over there. So your airdrop amount can be bigger. So these are the two reasons why I think you should pay attention to Aptos. And also in my coming videos, we will be talking about strategies where we can use uh, different techniques to form more than one token at the same time and even use the liquid staking. And if you like this video and you're interested, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Happy investing!